Good morning friends. Today we will see about training and development. So the meaning for training is it is the act of increasing the knowledge and skill of an employee for doing a particular job. It is concerned with increasing general knowledge and understanding of the employee's total environment. So uh, before giving training, the company will have to have a question in their mind. Since they are investing lot of money for training, they need to know whether it will be useful in giving training. What is the benefit they can get it from out of training? So for this, following a certain areas, which should be done, criteria that should be uh, done before going into giving training. So the first one is the company or the HR manager has to involve himself in finding whether training is needed for employees. The first one is for that, the first thing what they have to do is informal observation. The HR manager can informally observe the employee's performance. The work per performance of employees can be informally observed. Next one is performance appraisals. So continuous performance appraisal will give that whether an employee needs a training or not. The third one is suggestion system. So suggestion system is many times they get suggestion from the employees. When you compile and uh, uh, you can find out the result of this suggestion system, out of that they will find the people who are in need of training and who are not in need of training, everything can be found out and accordingly they can given training. Next one is group discussion. So group discussion is employees will be allowed to sit in a group and they will be discussing about various problems, work related problems and from thereby they will decide whether a particular employees are in need of training or not. Next one is questioners. Questioners will be given to those who are attending training. So when the uh, they will uh, find out the result according to the result they will be given proper training. The next one is morale survey. So morale survey will be conducted by the company among the employees with, to know whether their ability to work or, or willing to work is the level of willingness of the employees towards work. So this will show whether employees are happy while they work or they are not willing to work they are not uh, these are some of the things that will be done under the morale survey accordingly they can be given training the next one is tests many times the company will conduct tests and thereby they will find out whether they are in need of training or not the next one is interview with union officials for giving training the hr manager will sit together with the union officials and they will get their suggestion to conduct training or not the next one selection of exit interview so whenever an employee quits a job resigns a job they will be conducted an exit interview the reason to find out what is behind his resignation so this will prove or this will tell an uh, uh, hr manager like whether he is in need of uh, particular training, whether he was lagging particular uh, skill or abilities, thereby training will be given for other employees also to avoid unnecessary resignation or VRS, provided if he is a, an able person in the company. Next one is the selection of, again they can also conduct selection interviews, so select in the selection interview also the capacity of the employees will be known out and thereby they can be given enough training. The last one is analysis of report. So the reports of each and every employees can be analyzed and thereby their need for training can be found out and training can be given accordingly. The next one we will see about the methods of training. There are two uh, major headings under this. The first one is on the job training and the second one is off the job training. Under the on the job training, uh, there are five methods. The first one is job rotation. So job rotation is nothing but the employees will be sent from one job to another in order to get more exposure in different 
work areas the next one is coaching the coaching is given by a person who is a senior especially the supervisor will give a coaching to the junior employee or the freshers the next one is job instruction so job instruction is a method where the supervisor will give instructions related to job for the employee the next one is committee assignments so committee will be formed and employees will be assigned task and they will work together and complete the task the next one internship training so many times the freshers will be sent for internship training where they will learn from their uh, uh, workplace from the workplace and also from the senior people so this is all about internship training many times the students will be sent for internship training to big companies as a part of curriculum the next one is off the job training under that we can see case study methods so here the real time cases will be given to the employees they sit together and discuss find the solutions for the problems so they will come out with different alternatives and choose the best one so this shows or this will uh, train them this is how they will be trained in decision making skills problem solving all these are some of the uh, qualities that will be developed with the help of this case study method the next one is incident method so here a, a critical incident will be given a critical situations will be given to them and how they behave how they act how they handle that incident will be the training the next one role play a proper role play is a situation will be given a role will be given and there by training will be given how they react how they play the role as a manager as an executive as a com, com, uh, handler or as a customer how they behave how they act how they handle will be the training the next one in basket method is a method where a basket full of letters will be kept and the executives the training has has to select one particular letter and they have to handle how how they uh, handle the situation it may be like memos complaint letters sales letters all these are some of the letters will be that is kept in the basket and they will handle that the next one is the lectures so the employees will be sent to the uh, colleges or uh, lectures will be given to them related to their work the next one business games so business games will be conducted for the employees especially this will be conducted for executive executive level and thereby the decision making skill problem solving skill uh, interpersonal skills will be developed the next one is simulation game simulation is involves computer aided program computer aided trainings the next one management education so the company will also send sometimes the employees for the, Uh, improve increasing their education management related courses the last one is conferences and companies will also send employees to conferences to different places different uh, education institutions or wherever workshops or conferences are held related to work they will be deputed so these are some of the on the job and off the job training thank you